Hello everybody, this is Bernard aka FattyBull.com and what I am going to show you today is basically something a lot of people have been asking me regarding the retail uh, or a window display design I'm going to do in real time or using real time ray tracing technology and going literally from uh, a very simplified SketchUp model uh, to some very very cool shots you can actually see here and as you can see with the camera close-up shots you get high fidelity uh, with your assets you can literally really change on the fly materials assets the environment lights and so on and this is for sure what i would like to show you but also before i save actually the current level and you can watch me doing this live I save uh, this one also as level number three and then later on you can see actually how I was setting this up and what is all going on here and what about this chair. Believe it or not, I started here with this SketchUp model and you know, you can download free models uh, from SketchUp of course uh, online. There is the database, it's called uh, 3D Warehouse, right? I was just searching for like a uh, window display and somebody was uploading this Barry T as you can see and uh, you can download those assets for free and I just wanted to show you that I really really uh, didn't do a lot here or actually nothing um, I was using this model and exported it to my real-time technology you know space and what I also want to show you is how I started. I started with level one, uh, this process here, and I show you very uh, simplified how I was actually doing this. First of all, first is first. I also said after I was importing it, I need to get somehow some lights in it, right? And as you can see here, in terms of the lights, you can also drop a so-called HDRI backdrop into the scene file and then you illuminate everything and you see like how those assets might look like of course you can exchange the environment to anything you would like to this is the beautiful thing about real time and you can also change the projection of 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 the map that means like is the projection center more up or down whatever you want to have it right but also um even the HDRI backdrop, I can turn it off, wasn't very, very important for me. And I said what I rather focus on is then the lighting, of course, itself. Also, in terms of the sky, as you can see here, you can change the uh, intensity of the light. That means I can really change the intensity of the sun. You see it in here. This is, of course, changing in real time. I can also go in and completely change the day uh, or the time of the day, so to speak. I can change the latitude, I can change the longitude, I can say, hey, I'm going shopping at night or I have the sun coming from this side or that side. Of course, you can also build out different elements. i show you also how I do this. Basically, I copy and paste something here and then here we go, you position it. And then once you have walls built, cubes or whatever, you can assign different materials. And as you can see what I did here uh, to create this ice world, I got some quick, um, I would say like inspiration on Pinterest. So I was looking like on some icy worlds and so on. And <clears throat> I was lucky because I also work with Megascan uh, Quixel Bridge. And so I was exporting some of those collection assets and surface shaders and have been importing those like for instance the small decorative box into my scene file here right but you will see then exactly how that works in the next step so you can see like here this is for instance this icy cliff right and you can drag and drop it position it remove it so this is without it right but this is set extension so to speak how i do it quick and fast and what else i wanted to show you 
is of course lighting, right? Uh, <clears throat> that's my main objective, but this is also what I really like to do. You can see to generate a specific mood, you can change the intensity of those lights in real time. As you can see, I made it blue, but you could also go with green or like a different shade. You know, it, it really doesn't matter and go with the accent color. You really want to do this. Uh, second of all, I wasn't really sure about <clears throat> also when I go into here, my camera, I can go through my cinematic camera. But I wasn't even sure like this product, um, what I found in the sketch uh, SketchUp file. I'm assuming that's all what I can say is, uh, let me create here a level number three. Uh, all I can say, and I'm assuming this is what's going on, is the fact that the their product is like this chair. But also, as you can see, this massage chair or relaxed chair is not modeled like very nicely. And for just a demonstration purpose here, I, for me, it really doesn't matter what model I have inside uh, at the beginning, right? But later on, to just show you also how quickly I can turn things around, I was downloading then also other free assets, what you actually can see in a nice uh, window display, uh, uh, basically some fabrics, dresses, clothes, right? So, and as you can see, I found also free assets here on Sketchfab. For example, the Pakistani, uh, I would say Bluse in, in German. But you see, those are really nice assets. And uh, some, some artists are basically like scanning it or modeling and texturing everything manually but as you can see it looks very very nice and then what i did is if i go now to open level let's go into open level number two and the save this that you can see how i was assembling everything and uh, also create here then my camera as you can see, I was basically loading then those uh, assets to my specific set or to this window design. And the cool stuff is that you can go really, really quick with all this, uh, with the changes and whatever you would like to do. Look like even the camera, of course, right? I can go in and change this to a 4.8. And then, of course, I need to change my exposure uh, control. But as you can see, it's it's really, really cool because I can now create a window display design super fast. Now, what is why it's so cool and why uh, so many of my clients are like really uh, super happy and stoked right now? Because they can do so many more variations in such a short period of time. And they are literally crushing it because they can do so many more pitches, uh, iterations, they can show the same, uh, all their concepts like in a much uh, quicker way to their clients. And of course, because they can also do many more shots uh, as a fact. I mean, look at this dress, it's also super cool, right? Super nice dress. And then you see also, you could, for instance, what I also like to do is, I show this also live, uh, cine camera I can go into my camera if you're a photographer uh, and you know the photography basics you understand this a little bit better but you can also see I can change here my film back so my sensor width and height and then I can also control like this and create different different shots and I go to my focal point I can change the exposure uh, make sure I have everything in focus and I can show this to my client like super fast and I can create stills in a very short period of time. I'll show you how quickly I go into here, render a high resolution shot, click boom, make a snapshot, make a render and it's done. And then I can go in here and yeah, I can open this shot and then you see it here. This is like the resolution 100%. Uh, you know, straight out from the box uh, in real time. The beautiful thing is also, of course, you can send this to your clients, but you can also create animations, right? You see it here, like if the camera is animated, 
then you can do a fly through, a walk through, you can change the camera on the fly and render this out uh, in real time. And uh, you can do music presentations on top of it, you can do audio presentations. It's just uh, fantastic. Clients love it. And as I said, when I introduce to all my clients uh, the technology and to train them and in creating the pipeline, but also getting setting up uh, materials and shaders and libraries that you can produce this in a very short period of time and go super quick and fast they realize whoa uh, their project books are like filling up quickly because you can send out so much more stuff to your clients and you can show that to them right there is also one more thing in 3d space uh, what my clients really love is actually the game mode so let me show you this uh, this is a mannequin you can have in the game mode and you can send this to your clients and they kind of love it because they say I can't believe this I can run around here in 3d space I can look at whatever is going on here right and I'm not just kind of stuck uh, I have to say so with a Photoshop picture I can literally you know really go into the space and see like how would that space look like and so for example if you're here to demonstrate like if you position like a new light as you can see i can light this uh instantly so let's say you have exterior lighting you want to change this you say like it should be also blue i want to have more uh attraction to the you know basically the customers if you would have here an entrance or whatever but this is all about the display window and, and the design. Look, I just created this light, right? But then you can also go into the play mode and you can clearly see that light is here. So it goes on the fly. And the good news is also when you launch the game mode here, you don't even need the software. So your clients, they don't need anything. You can package this as a game. They can download that file and this is what they see on their computer right and then you can have audio files they can run around they have fun and see everything so as you can see it is super super cool especially when you see you can go from a sketchup file that doesn't really look <coughs> very spectacular right i mean let's face it the problem is when you work here in sketchup it's okay if you can model something you can export it super quick into unreal but in terms of the look development, in terms of the materials, the shading, the lighting, the mood, the vision and the message and the story you would like to deliver to your client to impress and to crush it, right? Especially a competition. Well, I mean, there is day and night here in the output, right? And I think, uh, you know, this is, this is super important in your workflow and process and whoever is adopting and and changing it you know is winning is literally really winning so you see like i show you again lights a position here light put it on this side it's super cool i have a second light this is for instance an, an asset and let me show you how i bring in some assets maybe okay so uh let's say i want to bring in those boxes then you can set up uh, a specific library you can have your own library I create my own materials create my own shaders my own texture maps but I'm also using here for instance Quixel Bridge I really love what Megascan does for me of course it's very easy and very fast also to produce any kind of materials and shaders set extension it really doesn't matter because that's what I do I mean this is my job uh, and this is what I'm helping people you know especially uh designers production studios and it really doesn't matter if you're a bigger studio or if you're a small studio because you know the days uh to design something where you needed to have like maybe like uh, a lot of people uh you know you don't need this anymore if you understand what you're doing so look here i brought in that asset and then as a decoration you can put this also in your window and just put it somewhere here in the background and then you have the next lovely piece right as you can see uh it's very simple it, it goes very quick also let me show you here some 
maybe a uh, basic material status. Let's say you have your sphere and you would like to make uh, or create different materials and see like how do those materials look like, right? I mean, what you can do is I created here folders. I can create my own materials, but of course I can also go in and then say, and basically assign different materials uh, to the sphere and then you see how they look like. You can see here uh, different patterns, you can control reflections, whatever. You can also, of course, uh, drop it to the floor here, right? So you, you see like here I had a concrete, so I can swap this out. Looks super cool. You can go in uh, so quick, then you drag the next material. And of course also you can change here the tiling. That means if you're not happy with the tiling, right, and the scaling, you can go in and also make those proper adjustments and it's immediately changed, right? So it's very, very cool, especially for uh, CMF status. Keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's very important for uh, product designers, of course, uh, interior designers to move quickly to really understand, hey, what can you do uh, with all those things and materials, right? So let's see what else I have here. Maybe I have some reflective materials, bronze. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Look at this, how this pops, right? I mean, this is super cool. And you can, yeah, make all those adjustments on the fly. So if you have any other questions and you would like to know how you can do the set extensions or I actually use it a lot in retail, of course, for retail designers and uh, window displays. How you can do the same, just let me know, ask me some questions. I'm more than happy to answer you all the questions you have. Um, and I can help you in implementing this, setting it up for your own benefits and basically go, you know, from a very, very, hmm, I would almost say like, you know, unfinished stage here in SketchUp to very, very nice finishes and final materials in real time. And I think this is just like something uh, what you really should definitely consider. I can only say any interior designer, anybody, any department in a design studio, CMF, uh, supervisors, anybody, managers who are working there, listen up, uh, you will lose if you're not going into real time. I can tell you, you will lose and you will crush it and you will win if you change your production into real time and if you go uh, with this, what I'm setting up here or my production pipeline workflow. So anyways, I don't want to sound like uh, doing here a lot of advertising, but I got so many questions how I am doing my stuff how I'm helping uh, my clients, how I work with them and how I help even designers and small studio owners. And this is the way how I do it. So I hope you like it. Uh, and if you have any other questions, of course, as always, please feel free to go to my website, fedibull.com. Uh, there you will find more information and reach out to me and I'm happy to help you. That being said, happy designing, happy pixeling. Wish you all the best. Stay healthy uh, and stay safe out there and enjoy what you do. Have a good one and talk to you later. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Not she said, what do you know the more?